Hello and welcome to Americans Learn. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be looking at somebody new entirely. This was a singer that was suggested to me by a community community member a little while ago. So this uh, singer is called, and I'm going to mispronounce this name so bad and I'm so sorry, uh, Dimash uh, Kudai Bergen. Kudai Bergen. Kudai Bergen. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully that'll tell me in the in the video how you actually pronounce it. But this video is called SOS. It's from 2021. Um, and I have been told to expect great things. So I'm looking forward to it. I love to see new stuff, new singers, new things. Um, I'm, I hope you're looking forward to this too. Let us delve in. Usually what I will try to do with a song is listen to it throughout the whole thing. And then I'll go back and listen to it again and make some commentary if that needs to happen. So let's go. Dimash. Pourquoi je vis? Pourquoi je meurs? Pourquoi je ris?
God damn. This man be hoarding all of the voices is what he's doing. That's incredible. And I was never expecting the next one. Like, he switched it up, like, every line or so. But, like, I was never, ever expecting the one that was coming next. That was mind-boggling. I'm going to count, too, how many different times, like, how many different styles he goes through. Because that was insane. Like, I mean, like, what a way to showcase your actual talent, though. Like, just going through and just changing it up each each line and a half or line two lines i'm not entirely sure i don't speak french but like <clears throat> i think that was french <laughs> that was amazing oh here look there's subtitles of sos of an earthling in distress so this time i'll also listen maybe i'll be having the <laughs> subtitles <laughs> Okay, we're starting existential. I like that. This is one. It is one of the things you close your eyes. You can still. I mean, I was going to say, like, if we're right here, close your eyes. You can still kind of tell it's a man doing falsetto, which is not a bad thing at all. That's His falsetto is so gorgeous. Super crystal clear. And then, oh my god. It's back to one again. It's really interesting, like, the when he talks about, I've never been on the ground, he, like, goes low and deep and growly, like, you know, earth. And then he's talking about being a bird here, and he's soaring. Like, this is amazing. This is three. I'm counting that as three. It's... It's so interesting. Like, he really doesn't spend too long there. It's just like, I'd like to see the world, and that's low. And then he s goes up again. And that's a cool thing, too. Upside down, you know, man singing in a very, very high, lovely, beautiful falsetto. That is... Because, like, I don't even know how he hits those notes. I don't think I could hit those notes. <laughs> Like, you know, keep your throat real open and keep everything pulled back is the way to do it. Also, posture check right now, now that I'm thinking about it. We're on three different styles so far because he's kind of going back between one and two right now. Four. That's amazing. And again, to like, just like the going operatic for the word above, I just think that's like interesting stylistic choice. Like it makes sense with the freaking words. Everything about this, like looking at the lyrics makes sense that he's switching around so often because I mean, it just, it makes sense. I love that. That's such a clever idea. Je te jure, now we're down again, this is different. Because, like, this feels very Broadway, too. Like, this man, can he do everything? That's, That's like an Axl Rose kind of deal right there. That's amazing. And I love, I love the production design, too, with, like, the lightning and stuff in the background. All of the projections in the background, amazing. This is an incredible belted note that he's doing right here. Ooh, and the slide, did you hear that little slide up? Gorgeous. 
I really wish he did that more. Like this, like pop, like rock sort of sound. Ugh. That deep growl, that the deep, deep guttural growl, like juxtaposed with that just soaring high note so quick. That is a technical skill that is almost, I don't know if I've ever heard that's just it's fantastic like it does take a lot of technical skill to do that that quickly and without hurting yourself so i think i'm on seven And then when he puts the little quaver in his voice too, oh, gorgeous. Especially like the song, this because the song, the the note, like what he's singing now is basically the same as it was earlier, but now the band is a lot more intense, and that is an interesting balance. <laughs> That was cool too like the squeak ah that also takes some skill to pull off if you're not doing it right with it and not make it sound like a shriek you know it sound he sounded like a freaking violin <laughs> of course you feel. Because back to the beginning again but in a different uh, tone. He's back in chest voice. This one sounds more like spoken word poetry for a second there. Ugh, I love it. I do. I do. Oh my god. I would listen to a whole song of him singing like like this as well. Oh my god. Haunting at the end there. I'm not sleeping now. Uh uh, son. Wow. I think I counted eight different styles there because I, I was not counting when you like went back and forth between different things or at least I tried not to but wow <laughs> that was in that was fascinating absolutely fascinating and just um his ability to switch between genres and like levels and like going from these incredibly quiet, soft, high moments to these really loud and like powerful lines. And then the, the really high like rock sort of screaming that he was doing there. Like, I feel like that was gorgeous. That was really, really beautiful. Um, very interesting. D that's different, I think, than anything I've ever seen before. Which is, again, half the point of this channel. So, haha, -ha, thank you so much for suggesting that uh, Roymer Lopez, um, because that is who suggested it. And I'm not, I'm not upset. <laughs> that was fascinating. Um, all right, so again, that was Dimash Kudabergen, I think. Or Kudabergen. I, again, if I'm 
I need to figure out how to say that because it was beautiful. Um, I hope you all enjoyed that. And um, let me know what I should react to next. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to give him a like and a follow. Good Lord. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.